There we go. Um, I don't think this gentleman would only be known to, to Australians, but he certainly, Professor David Boyd, uh, he, he practiced as an academian at the University of Adelaide, where, where one of our speakers, uh, Stephen Thiel, is, is currently an adjunct, I mean, an adjunct professor. But uh, Professor Boyd taught at Adelaide from the late 60s until 1992. And he supervised students until up until 98. And he was awarded the ASCG's gold membership at their conference in August of last year. And he passed away in November. And I thought, that given what he had done in terms of his career and promulgating the value of regional data assessments using aeromagnetic data, that to do a tip of the hat for this seminar in his name was appropriate. But of course, I had to have a few things to say. So I've got a few slides here. And it was an interesting story, because the story very much is still unfolding. What you are seeing today really is the result, by and large, of efforts that began back in the 1940s. Um, Career highlights, he came out of the uh, British Isles, went through Glasgow, got a degree in uh, geology and we called natural philosophy at the time. But as a, as a student, during, during the war, he apparently bumped into an American um, airman, Glasgow, and he was telling him what he was taking in university, he was taking geology, because geophysics didn't really exist as a subject then. And this, this, this uh, airman said, this colonel, so geophysics is where it's at. You should be taking geophysics. And he steered himself with his, with his degree, natural philosophy and math and physics and geology, and effectively became a de facto geophysicist. So he worked for about a decade um, on various projects through the university, probably did some consulting work, and then he joined hunting. And this was the key, the key group where he learned the craft of regional data assessment. They were one of the pioneering, or the pioneering group and then he spent uh, basically um, 12 years with them and then joined the, the group at Adelaide where he finished off his career. And lots of kudos and the rest of it. Um, but that was, the, that was the key part where he was sitting and hunting. From his experiences, he actually gave a seminal talk at the first deciennial meeting in 1967 on the role of regional geophysics and how it could be used. And this is an era where there was no machine contouring, there were no 3D boxing models, derivatives had to be done almost by hand, and yet these people, you read his paper, you look at the highlights, and this is the way he structured his paper. And in the middle, interpretation, practical interpretation, mathematical models, interpretation proper, major intrusions, types, testing interpretation, further interpretation. This was all back in the 60s when we now, then in these days, we often struggle to find people doing interpretation. These sort of rules were set down over half a century ago, and I thought, holy wow, you know, I didn't really realize what, what a forward thinker this guy was, but uh, anyways, his students, and this is really his greatest contribution, was the number of people he put out into industry who basically understood the role and value of regional geophysics. And uh, David Isles communicated with him. David actually contributed to a paper in Exploration 07 with Prof. Boyd. Uh, a number of these people are still practicing. Students, bachelor's and master's degrees, uh, a number of these people are still very significantly involved in the you know, geoscience business, private sector, government in Australia, and of course we have influence overseas as well. These are the sort of maps they made in the day. Um, all black contours, I assume they had color pencils, but they, you know, they focused in on the things that they understood. And clearly, as they were thinking in contouring, they were probably doing geological interpretation at the same time. We have tended to compartmentalize that now. 
the people that do the processing, the acquisition and the processing, really don't get involved with what it means. Whereas in this era, fine, you go and fly an airplane and get data, but the people that actually took it from that point on had far more ownership of getting value out of it. Paper he gave at the 40th anniversary of his first paper, and this one he did jointly with Dave. Excellent summary, and that was given at their conference. Vicky was talking about the one coming up in the fall. This was done 10 years ago. But as I investigated this, I had to also acknowledge the very significant contribution of this gentleman, Norm Patterson, who's still alive here in the uh, southern Ontario area. And Norm actually worked for the same group, hunting. And about three or four weeks ago, I contacted Norm, and I said, well, I remember you had worked for hunting. Can you tell me a little bit, you know, what David Boyd did and you did? And Norm sort of took that as being, oh, well, I need to get my contribution correct, so that you understand. And he explained that uh, with a detailed set of bullet points, what he and other colleagues inside hunting had done. And, and he sort of got the feeling of sort of pushing David off to the side a little bit. And, uh, and I came back to him and I said, Norm, that's a great contribution. And really, it's fascinating. I said, but do you realize that David actually told hundreds of people and you just made some money on it? Because <laughs> that's what Norm did. He started a consulting practice. We never in Canada managed to get within an academic institution anybody with the vision that David Boyd had about working with regional data. And it shows. We're great on acquisition, we're not so good on interpretation. And I said, that's when it started. That's how it happened. We just didn't get, we had great profs, you know, Gordy West and Doug Oldenburg now, but they all focused in a slightly different part of the business. So I found that uh, very interesting. So, you know, Hats off to both of them. <laughs>